Each day, we wake up with the knowledge that we have a job to do, and every minute counts. Time is a limited resource for everyone, rich or poor, male or female, young or old. The reality of limited time drives the choices we make, and it drives us to trade with one another. Is it more convenient to make something, buy something, or skip it all together? Time, ability, and our resources are major factors in that decision. But so is personal preference. We trade with one another based on what we prefer to do. Do we value a homegrown garden over the convenience of purchasing the fruit of someone else's labor? These are the decisions that drive the trades we make. The reason this works so well is because it's God's design. He created us to apply our gifts and skills and talents to His creation. And when we do this well, we glorify Him and serve each other. Trade helps us come together to do this better than we ever could on our own. The freer the society is, the more new ideas can be developed and new products and services are brought into the market. Not only does that stimulate human flourishing, it also saves lives. I know this from personal experience. My daughter and I survived a very traumatic pregnancy. When I went into early labor and was rushed to the hospital, we didn't know what was gonna happen. There was nothing I could do. I had to rely on countless people that I did not know and trust them to care for me. What kind of society makes this even possible? A free society where people are able to use their gifts to serve others. In another place, in another time, we may have been dead, but that's not our story because free markets save lives. That option should be available to all mothers, but it's not. The old motto, be all you can be, is the essence of human flourishing. If we want our fellow humans to flourish, we need to ensure their freedom so that they can live into exactly who God has created them to be and live more fulfilled lives within the limited context of time. We all have work to do, and every minute counts. That's why economics matters.